100 though on audition time. Holding command in front leads by a length over Dixie Win. The Bunya Palm healed up down on the inside next of all being closely followed by Enzo's Best. Then Show Honey down on the inside going easily but it needs an out and it needs it quickly coming into the corner. Vasak of Satab peeling to the outside. It's a chance further back starts to make its run. They're in the home straight. Dixie Win on the outside of audition time. Show Honey trying to steer around them there. Climbed up onto heels but now into the open. Show Honey quickly levels up to Dixie Win, hits the lead behind them, battling away Enzo's best, but Show Honey draws clear. Show Honey overcoming a checkered pathway in the straight, beats a close go for the Miners. The rake getting home well off the back of the speed with Enzo's best and also towards the inside. Running on is Aura Breeze. Over on the fence, Dixie wins there in that group as well. We'll leave the Miners to the judge to sort. In behind the Vasak of Satab, it's a chance deeper out, audition time and then repentancy. And it's amongst the last of them in back there in their company also was the Bunya poem. Show, honey, it was bittersweet. The victory in some bother pike there. He almost climbed up onto the heels of one steering around it to get into open territory. He then uh, continued to initiate the opening and she did the rest. The filly by show casing, show, honey, from the more than ready mare, pretty ready for the Durant and Miller team. First run for them today. And Pike has uh, got a home to victory and uh, has completed a winning double. At the short odds, $1.50 and $1.20. Nine Dixie win and eight the rake. Enzo's best close up with Vasak of Satab or a breeze as well. And here are the numbers. It's 11, 9, 8 and 6. Show Honey first. Dixie win second. The Rake third. Enzo's best has run fourth in 112.71 and 35.74. The last 600 metres of the fifth event of the day. The winner is owned by Peters Investments. A showcasing filly. Her first victory in 10 starts after six minor placings previously. First outing for the Durant Miller team today. Pike aboard. Beating nine, Dixie win first up, a passenger mare from black to win for B&P Italiano. Prepared for them by Misha Logan, handled by Stephen Parnham. And the rake on debut by Dewporth out of Golden Girl, a woodman mare for Alan Ban, Semi Mary Scott, trained by Brett Pope in the Murray and ridden by Troy Turner. A length and a half, a short half head, a short head. Margins, a bustling finish there for minor placings in the opening leg of the quaddy. But a fine victory here by Show Honey after missing the kick, last to go held up in the straight, and then into the clear, and she put pay to them quite comfortably. Race six, the Perth Racing, Twitter handicap at 10 to 4, a field of 12, and no changes there to the next on the card. Adam McGrath's with us, and about to be joined here by co-trainer Jason Miller after the filly's first appearance for the stable, yielding a very good first up win. Jason, uh, a win's a win, but uh, that was hard to watch, nervous to watch, and uh, you sort of just uh, clutch the teeth and hope that it all pays out, but uh, thankfully William Pike was able to get a way out and get the victory. Yeah, um, it was yeah, touch and go coming out, um, halfway up the straight, whether she uh, got pushed back in or got out, but he got out. Um, yeah, she did a few things wrong. She's a little bit slow out, but look, she's, um, she's obviously got a, a little bit of ability there, so it was good to just get the win on the board. We mentioned those form lines from last prep around Kuiperinia. We know that they hold up. Tell us about what you've seen at home and what you've noticed as she's built towards this race. Yeah, look, she only does what she has to in the heavy sand. She's not a real big filly in that. So, um, look, she um, her trial was good. And on her trial, I thought she, um, if she could repeat that today, she'd be hard to beat. Her ability, are we going to see her end up in Saturdays and be a dominant force? Uh, you'd, uh, yeah, you'd like to hope so on her breeding and on her, um, on her form. Look forward to seeing where she goes. Congratulations, mate. Thank you. There's Jason Miller now, one of the most relieved people in Perth, I think, would be William Pike after uh, that race. And he's just giving Jace a, a bit of a feedback here about the way that she raced. And Pikey, that was some hard work out there. Yeah, she's a very tricky ride. Um, not very user-friendly at the moment, but hopefully the, a run and that now she'll hopefully she'll settle in a bit more. Try to let us know what's going through your mind. When, um, we know how good she is. We've seen those runs, but she is green and you're just coming up back ends. What were you thinking of down the straight? Oh, I was actually trying to wait for the cutaway and go in, but she wouldn't let me and she wanted to go out. So, uh, I don't know, it's probably sort of, it just sort of gets a bit of hectic and everything happens in a heartbeat. So, you know, you see half a gap and you've got to go for it. Sitting on top of her though, and even what Jay said, there's clearly plenty of ability. It just needs to all come together. Yeah, she's, I suppose she's always shown glimpses, so we just need to 
string them together and yeah, build, it, build up and do it a little bit more professionally. You earned your money out there, mate. Well done. <laughs> yeah, thanks. There's William Fike, a winning jockey aboard a show, honey. It was a short prize favourite. It was tough for viewers to watch, but it's got the job done.